Hello everyone, I'm going to show how to import products and variants into Adobe 15. So I first created an Excel sheet where I have my products. I have a cotton t-shirt, acrylic t-shirt, they have different sizes. And, and then we have list price, standard price, default code, which is internal reference, and a reference that we can use for importing other stuff into this product. So this is just a simple example. So first we need to import the product attributes then we need to import the values and then we import the product template. So if you want to go deep and understanding what uh, what things you, you can uh, find in a data model, you just search for modules in the settings. Uh, just use the regular search. But if you go into models, there you go, this one. You find the model. This one is for product attribute. And these are the options, the fields that you can find there. We don't need much. You can also choose to open. Oh, this one does not exist. I'll just try to test it. So you can open it here. And you'll see, so we have the name, we have display type, and so on. So good. Let's do go into my Excel sheet, part records, float file. Let's first import product attribute. Let's test it. It's working fine. Import it. Okay, we imported the chest product attribute. Doesn't have any values. Now, let's go and import the values. You come where it says for the records. Now, we want to import product attribute dot value. I think that's the one. If you have doubts, you can always um, refer to the models attribute value. It's not the values, I did it, value, that's fine. So now I will select the second sheet and I'll test and I'll import. There you go, it says free records imported successfully. That's great, let's go into the attributes, chest size, and we have them loaded, fine. Important thing now is that we have a reference. So these values, if I want to reference, I can use the size S, M, and L. If by any reason I cannot use the name itself. In this example, I was able to just put the name and do imported it. Sometimes it doesn't work. You have to use the ID. For that, I use the technical field name and then slash ID. Now let's import the products. So uh, the same thing, I can just go into products and then click on import or I can just go here on any important change in the middle top. Now I'll upload in 15. Now I'm going to uh, product template. Has everything here, so I'm going to test. Now I'll load the file. Uh, sorry, not load the file. I'll just import. There you go. So now if I search for T, I'll see my cotton shirt, my attributes, and my other acrylic shirt with my attributes. That's all for today. Thanks, guys, for listening. See you. Bye-bye.